Photoshop is a powerful image editing software that allows you to manipulate images in countless ways. One of the main features it offers is the ability to blur the background of an image. This technique is often used to draw attention to the main subject of the image, making it stand out from the distracting backgrounds. Here is the step-by-step -step guide on how to blur the background in Photoshop with a few quick tips to help you along the way. So without any delay, let's start. To follow along with me, simply download the tutorial image by following the links given in the description below. You can also visit our website photoshopdesign.com or our Patreon page to access all our downloads which are always free. And to get started, first now select the subject go to select menu then scroll down to subject this tool will automatically select the subject of the image which will makes it easier for us to blow the background now duplicate the subject press ctrl or command j to duplicate the subject layer now rename the new layer to subject Duplicate the background, press Ctrl or Command plus J on your keyboard to duplicate the background layer and rename the new layer to background. Now we need to load the layer as a selection. To do, hold on the Ctrl or Command key and click on the subject layer thumbnail to load the layer as a selection. Now we need to expand the selection. Go to select menu. Then scroll down to modify and over to expand. Now I'm going to expand the selection by 10 pixels. Expanding the selection by 10 pixels can help to avoid issues with the content aware fill. When you use content aware fill, Photoshop will attempt to fill in the selected areas by surrounding pixels to create a seamless natural looking result. However, if there is a hard edge around the subject, the fill may not look as natural or may contain artifact or other unwanted elements. So expanding the selection by a small amount can help to avoid these issues, ensuring that the content of our fill produce the best possible result. Now fill the background, go to edit menu, then scroll down to fill and choose content aware. This will fill the background with pixels that blend seamlessly with the surrounding area. Now deselect, press Ctrl or Command D on your keyboard to deselect the selection. Now convert the layer to smart object. Convert the background layer to smart object by right clicking on the layer and select convert to smart object and converting a layer to a smart object preserves the original image data. This makes it easier to undo any changes or try different editing options without having to start from scratch. Now apply the tilt shift filter. Go to the filter menu then scroll down to blur gallery over to tilt shift. This filter will allow you to blur the background in a way that makes it appear as if it's out of focus. Drag the overlay to the floor to apply the tilt shift effect to the bottom of the image. By dragging the overlay to the floor, we are essentially adjusting the angle at which the bouquet is applied, which allows you to precisely control where the focus falls in the image. This can result in more natural and aesthetically pleasing look. By using the tilt shift filter in this way, you can create images with the professional looking bouquet effect even if you don't have an access to high-end equipment. Now increase the blur by adjusting the slider as the blur is applied in a way that mimics the way a real uh, world camera lens would work. Then click OK. Blurring the background is a popular technique used to focus attention on the subject of the image. After blurring the background, it is essential to group both layers and clean the improper edges. Sometimes while making subject selection, you may miss adding the shadows to the image. To fix this, you can add shadows by adding a layer mask to the group. Then paint on areas where the shadows to be. This will add more realistic and natural look to your image. This ensures that the final result is very clean and sharp. 
Final step in this photo editing process is to add global color adjustments. In this example, a sunset effect is added to the background. To do this, go to adjustments and select color lookup. From there, choose the late sunset loot. If you only want the effect to, uh, to be applied to the highlights of the image, then select the layer mask. Then go to image and select apply image. Uncheck invert to apply the colors only to the highlights. This technique is very useful in color grading your photos and can enhance the overall look and feel of the image. And lastly, I would like to give the edited photo a feeling like look. One more color lookup is added this time. The filling stock loot is selected. You can lower the opacity as needed to achieve the desired effect and that's it. By using a light orange color, specifically you are creating a warm sunny effect that can give you photos a classic timeless look. And that's it. Here is before and after. By following these simple steps, you can quickly and easily blur the background of any image in Photoshop, making your subject stand out and drawing the viewer's attention where you want it to be. With a little practice, you will be able to create stunning images that stand out from the crowd. And thanks for watching. Here you will find all the tips, tricks and techniques to take your Photoshop skills to the next level. If you enjoy this content and want to see more, please like, share and comment. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon to get notifications on our new videos. Stay tuned for more great content and take care.